Good morning. Welcome to DevNet Create and the Start Now channel. We are so excited to have you here today to talk about the Cisco Networking Academy. Adrian Alessio and I have been working with Networking Academy and DevNet for some time to bring the DevNet Associate and DevNet Workshops to the community. My name is Kirsten Keel. I've been leading product and community initiatives for developers for over 15 years across a variety of companies. And it is my passion to bring tools and technologies to developers to empower them in their careers. At Cisco, I've been working cross-functionally to bring DevNet technologies to networking academy and learning and certifications to reach a broader audience with our tools and technologies. And lastly, I also run the DevNet Express program that brings DevNet technologies to the field customers and partners. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce my colleague, uh, Adrian Alessio. Adrian, can you share a little bit about your background? Definitely, thank you, Kirsten. Hello, everyone. My name is Adrian Alessio, and I'm a technical leader with DevNet Innovations team. <clears throat> Within the team, I, I help customers and partners build um, custom solutions on top of our Cisco APIs. Uh, I've been working in the industry now for more than 15 years. Like Kirsten was saying, we've been working together, uh, bringing network programmability and automation to our Medicaid community. And uh, happy to be here and uh, meeting everyone. And uh, let's take this on the road. Kirsten, back to you. <laughs> Great. So let me share first a little bit about the Networking Academy. I did uh, share this slide actually at our last DevNet Create, but I think you'll see incredible growth uh, since we last met. Uh, Cisco Networking Academy has been around since 1997 and has educated over 15 million students. This is done by over 29,000 instructors across 12,000 academies in 180 countries. So a really robust program that's been in existence for a long time and, and is proven. Part of how they do this though, it's not Cisco alone. Um, this is part of the Corporate Social Responsibility Program. And they, uh, Cisco Networking Academy provides a platform and the curriculum, but they work with partners. So academy support centers and instructor training centers in a train the trainer fashion. So these partners train instructors at the academies, which you'll find at universities, community colleges, governments, prisons, libraries, NGOs, to bring this curriculum to a wide breadth of people uh, across the globe. And then finally, they take you to the last step, which is connecting you with employers in the Cisco ecosystem for jobs. So it's a great program with a broad curriculum. Uh, this is the Networking Academy portfolio and the items in the green box are classes, many of them you can do self-paced or through an academy, but they're intended to get your toes wet, if you will, uh, learning about various technologies to see if you have interest. And then you can go to the next level to their career uh, courses, which includes digital essentials that gives a broad uh, exposure to a number of technologies. And then there are three different categories of coursework that they have. Networking, cybersecurity, and where DevNet has been most involved with the programmable infrastructure. So we've been working with Networking Academy for the last three years to introduce DevNet workshops. Uh, we have some curriculum that goes into the Internet of Things and bring the infrastructure automation and DevNet associate to the community. A lot of what is done in the Networking Academy is also hands-on practice, so people can take this out into the real world. And then they work with a couple of partners to offer additional courses as well. You can learn more by going to netacad.com and uh, learning more about their program. The main thing is their, their intention is to provide skills to connect people with jobs. And they focus on this T-shaped, meaning breadth and depth of skills, providing that to their students through hands-on activities in over 27 languages. 
And I'm pleased to tell you the last DevNet Create, we told you we were launching the DevNet Associate course with Netacad. And we, despite the pandemic, we've had incredible success. So we, our thanks goes out to the 327 instructors who are already teaching the DevNet Associate. There are 4,600 instructors that are actively learning about the DevNet Associate curriculum on their path to accreditation. But the 327 have already educated 16,000 students in this short time that we launched the DevNet Associate with 3,200 students currently enrolled this semester. And then finally, we've seen 14.8 thousand people get certified in the DevNet certification since launch. With that, you can hear it from me, but I would love for you to hear firsthand from these amazing instructors around the world that have, through the pandemic, uh, brought this curriculum to their students. So please, if you could introduce yourself, talk a little bit about the success that you've seen with uh, this course and the opportunities that it provides to your students. Thank you. I'm David Lobasso. I'm a network engineer and the DevNet Instructor Trainer for ICT Academy in Rome, Italy. My name is Luhur Bayuaji. I'm a Cisco Networking Academy Instructor Trainer from Universitas Gajah Mada, Indonesia. My name is Max Hassan Henry. I'm from Border Prince, Haiti. Hi, my name is Anna Ramirez, President and Founder of Marlin Data Technology from Peru. I've joined Cisco Networking Academy since the year 2000. I have been teaching for Cisco Networking Academy for five years. I have 17 years of active service as an instructor of Cisco Networking Academy. I'm an entrepreneur and instructor since 2003. From the instructor point of view, the DevNet course is an interesting and challenging course. This course gives a great opportunity of knowledge leading to employability. They will be able to gain those software skills necessary to become a fundamental member of today's IT teams. Some elements such as APIs, automation, scripts are necessarily related with this job. For this reason, I have got interested in wanting to teach DevNet. It's a fantastic learning program full of useful topics for everyone is looking for operating in the networking with the developer size. I had already completed the instructor training myself and wanted to give back to help raise awareness about the skills and opportunities available in the IT automation area and also help contribute to reinforce the networking academy ecosystem. It's a great challenge for me as a teacher but also for students. The DevNet Associate Certification is a fundamental brick in the wall. I encourage my students to consider it for their career prospects. Uh, since the DevNet's launching stage, I have trained more than 100 instructors. The interest was so high that we had to extend the training to include more instructors from the Latin region. DevNet is the future of networking. It will provide more effective and efficient way in the network maintenance. Keep your spirit high and continue good works. It will lead you to your success. Great, so that was amazing hearing from our wonderful instructors around the world about their experience. But now I wanna share with you one of the great stories of a student who started with Networking Academy almost 20 years ago now, Adrian. Um, but uh, I would like him to share his journey with you. Um, Adrian, can you give us a little bit about your background, how you got started with Networking Academy and, and what you've done since? Yes, definitely. So um, just like you were saying, early 2000s, uh, back then I was attending school in Romania, university found out about this program that Cisco has networking academy, which raised my interest. So I ended up going to uh, the CCNA course, uh, getting my exam back then, which brought a job along with it. 
At the beginning, I was working for a Cisco Platinum partner in Eastern Europe, and then pretty much my career has evolved up to today, you know, around Cisco, around Cisco technology partners. I ended up going for the CCMP and then I did get my CCA exam in routing and switching or, you know, what they call today enterprise. Um, and within Cisco, I've, I've been with the innovations team now for a while. And with the DevNet team, I've been for going on seven years now, which have been some very amazing years. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much me. I, I love your story, Adrian. I mean, the way that you came in as a beginning student and now you're giving back to the community and have actually written a book. Uh, so you're a great story and a great inspiration for us all. Um, I do want you to share a little bit about what you've been doing the last few summers, doing deep dive with some of the early pioneers in the Networking Academy, these amazing instructors who uh, have been joining you in, in the summer for your training. So can you share a little bit more about that? Yes, uh, yes, sure. So. We have a, a close collaboration with the Western Academy Support and Training Center, which is pretty much the grouping of all the Netacad instructors on the U.S. West Coast. So we've been partnering with them for years now, for more than four years. And we have biannual conferences. Usually we have the one on in the winter, beginning of the year, January, and one, you know, June, July, middle of the year. And we try to bring network programmability, automation, that that associate now, and all these new skills to the instructors on the US West Coast. So like you were saying, we've had last year a training with them and we mentioned it at that decree last year. So I'm just gonna make a, a brief remark on it. We did the Devnet Fundamentals course, which is closely matching the Devnet Associate curriculum. So I'm happy to say that some of the instructors that we, we taught last year in our workshop actually went ahead and started teaching the Devon Associate class. Um, and you know, couldn't be more happy than, uh, than having them join our effort of bringing automation and programmability to the world. And then this year, we asked the instructors, what would you like to have us do? And um, they wanted us to do a data center, a deep dive on data center automation and programmability with Cisco NX OS. So during a five day workshop, we went over and we covered pretty much everything under the sun on, uh, on NX OS and data center programmability and automation. So we covered all technologies. Um, it was a great session amazing feedback from, from the instructors that um, that took part in our workshop. And I'm really excited and I'm looking forward to the next year and bringing, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see, we'll have to talk with them again, what they want, what they want us to cover, but uh, excited to work with them again next year. Yeah, excellent. And I think one of our instigators for this last year's uh, curriculum was uh, Rick Graziani. How was he as a student, Adrian? <laughs> uh, uh, Rick is great, right? Uh, Rick is a close friend of mine also. We go back now almost four years. We're keeping in touch. Um, I love his passion for technology. I love his, his very proactive, right? He reaches out to me, we, we have discussions on model-driven probability. We had the last one. So really, really happy in our connection and, you know, having Rick as, as, as a student, but also as a mentor, because he's been with, with Networking Academy for so many years. He has seen the evolution, right? And he sees the value that DevNet and automation and programmability bring. So it's always a pleasure to work with Rick, um, both in his capacity as a student, but also as a mentor for me. Oh, that's great to hear. So without further ado, let's hear a little bit about Rick himself and his journey with DevNet and uh, bringing these technologies, learning them himself, and then bringing them to his students. He's a great example of a lifelong learner in the Networking Academy. 
Hi, my name is Rick Graziani. I teach at Cabrillo College and University of California, Santa Cruz. I've been teaching Cisco Networking Academy courses, including CCNA and CCNP for about 23 years. I first got interested in DevNet several years ago when I started seeing DevNet at Cisco Live. I took advantage of some courses taught by Hank Preston, Adrian Alisu, and others, really anything and everything I could learn. Most important, I read and listened to what network engineers were saying on why we had to move in this direction. This was customer driven. The network has changed its size, complexity, and services. In other words, it wasn't a solution in search of a problem, but an actual problem in search of a solution. My main focus within DevNet is network programmability and automation. Basically, how can I help transition my CCNA students from the traditional approach of implementing and managing networks to approaches that use automation and are programmable? For me, it is important to keep the skill set and perspective of my CCNA students in mind. Their world is not software development, but basic routing and switching. I use DevNet along with some of my own content to help them see what CCNA routing and switching looks like in the world of network programmability and automation. I would encourage all instructors and students to think beyond a simple two or three router network and imagine an environment of dozens, hundreds, even thousands of devices. And most of all, don't be intimidated. Don't try to take on all of this vast number of technologies and directions of this new world of software-defined networking, intent-based networking, automation, programmability, DevOps, and a whole host of other stuff. For me, my approach was I started simple. I started with looking at structured data formats like JSON, XML, YAML, you know, start seeing the advantage of working with structured data instead of, you know, typical CLI output and even input. Learning why a data model like Yang helps make the data consistent no matter what devices I'm working with. Learn about APIs, use Postman, look at developer sites, uh, just get an understanding about how APIs are used, both in our world of routing and switching, but also outside that world. Then see how it applies, can apply to things like RESTCOM, NETCOM, Ansible, and other protocols and tools that help us along in this automation programmability path. And then just go from there, wherever your interests take you. But the first thing I would you know, encourage everybody to do is just get started. Don't be intimidated. Don't worry about not knowing everything. Uh, just take it step by step uh, and start to show your students what this world looks like. There's plenty of videos out there of examples of using these tools. You don't have to have all this software and hardware or even know how to do it yourself. There's plenty of examples on YouTube and elsewhere of people doing this and showing you the advantages of this. So I would just encourage everybody to, uh, first of all, just get their feet wet, understand why we're doing this. And uh, for me, I got very motivated and, and uh, I, I love learning. And this is just another one of those areas where I'm sure we're all used to having to learn some more and it's just uh, the pioneering days. We're all learning together. So anyway, and good luck and um, thanks for listening. So you've heard a lot about the skills and learning in the Networking Academy and that's great, but crossing you over to a job is really the goal. And Cisco has this wonderful program called Talent Bridge that connects you to world-class employers talent and employers matched up on a platform. And it's been incredible. The, there have been over 65,000 students that have uploaded their profiles to the platform. There are 365 employers that seek out these students. 
And uh, we've heard from over 30,000 candidates that were able to get a job through the Talent Bridge resources. So starting from the very beginning, as, as early as middle school, you can start with Networking Academy and place yourself in a career and a job utilizing the resources from Cisco Networking Academy and DevNet. Adrian and I are so pleased to have had this opportunity to work with Netacad, and we encourage you to check it out and enjoy the rest of the DevNet Create Conference. Thank you for joining us.